Scorpios, what's up, you sexy motherfuckers? Welcome to the Gypsy's Tower. We are doing your love reading for the week, my loves. I hope I'm finding you well. Remember, if the reading resonates, so please hit like and subscribe. If not, you can book a reading with me at the Gypsy's Tower linked below in the description. Let's just say that my shorts I did for all the signs and the all sign reading was very revealing this week. There's a lot going on, Scorpio. So let's see what's going on for my love. Thank you guys for everything that you do. Keep going. You guys are amazing. Thank you for all your support. Seriously, I love you. All right, Scorpio. I think this is good. Let's see. Oh, my God. The same exact card from the other reading. <laughs> you see how thick this deck is? Ooh. Oh. Oh, shit. What's at the top? Oh, Scorpio. Oh, my God. What are y'all up to? What are you guys up to, Scorpio? Mm. Okay. Well, there's someone who has a lot of guilt because they took a risk with someone else. Probably let you go for this person, okay? But they have a lot of guilt and they're going to take a risk or a leap of faith towards you. For some of you, this could be a proposal. If you are in a toxic connection, they want you to leave that connection to be with them. There's a lot of gossip or news going on around about you or a toxic connection that could be close to your energy. And there's someone that you could be having sex with that you're ghosting, Scorpio, because of what's going on here. So let's just dive in <laughs> and see. My straight to the point tarot. I'm not playing. Look, regret and groan. This person knows they fucked up. It says someone regrets what they did to you, how they treated you and how they contributed to the mess. And then we have grown not with the childish games, past priorities straight and not willing to downgrade standards. I'm also getting that someone is upset that someone's leaving a toxic connection with them to be with you and go towards you to propose and they're stopping this person they're telling this third party like someone's baby mama or baby daddy it doesn't really matter but they're telling them or ex get out of the way and shut the fuck up <laughs> Ooh, what is sex with ghosted this is interesting long distance a strong emotional commitment to another who is far away and often beyond physical access most of the time with split personality, acting differently around you and the next person, not feeling like they can be themselves around certain people. And no money, no talk, not wanting to talk unless money is involved, hustling to get to the bag. This could be a ho at a distance. Yeah, this is a prostitute. Someone made the wrong choice, okay? This is literally the scenario I'm hearing. Someone could have gotten uh, catfished online and they're pissed off, okay? Because they found out that this person only wants money. Um, they didn't want sex, okay? This person ain't balling. They ain't high vibing. And I feel like they know you don't have money problems. So they want to come in with some legal... They wanted to cause legal issues and bad contracts for you, but they couldn't sabotage you with their gossip. This person has no idea what they're doing. They're just watching you. They don't have anyone to look up to in their lives except for you. So I feel like this person's keeping their distance from you, Scorpio, because you're focused on the bag. But this person knows that they were too for the wrong reasons. Okay? Damn. What the fuck? What's gossip? Mm -mm. I don't like that. What's gossip? Always partying and playing games. Ignored. And grown. Mm. So someone was trying to say that you were always partying and playing games and... Um, I'm also hearing like ignoring your kids if you have them or just ignoring everybody around you being self-centered, but you're not. And now people see that you're not going to downgrade your standards. Now they're sitting here in regret in a mental prison because they can't hear what you got going on and people are talking good shit about you. Yep. What's toxic relationship? What the hell is this? I know this ain't Scorpio. Scorpio ain't doing it. What is this? Role model. I knew it. See, being an inspiration to others, having positive recognition from a lot of people. So people are um, if you're in a relationship or seeing someone, they see your relationship or you and this person as being the top. Like you can get shit done and they look up to it. They're also afraid of it. I feel of you and this person growing together. 
Yeah, regret. Someone regrets what they did to you and how they contributed to the mess. What else? Yeah, because you're gorgeous. And they might have picked someone. Um, And look, they're being nosy as fuck right here. Look. Yep, they're nosy as hell. All in your business. This was someone that was not trying to come off as a moocher. Let me fix my range, y'all. But um, they had a hidden agenda against my beautiful earth angels. That's you. No one's listening to this person's lies because they can see that they were trying to copy your style. You got a distorted masculine who abuses his power and isn't very smart once they get off the grid in some way. Okay, they feel like they met their match. For some of you, your old friend could have been intimidated by you, okay, and wanted the person you were with but couldn't compare. Yep. What's proposal? Falling, having a luxurious lifestyle, wanting and having the most expensive things in life, pockets full. Truth revealed. The truth has been or will be revealed in this situation soon. Secrets have been kept hidden that will come out. And for the clout, doing it all for the fame, attention, views, doesn't want to be left alone being fake. What's at the bottom? Intelligent in the reverse, off the grid in the reverse, meeting your match in the reverse, and bestie upright. Copying your style in the reverse. So there was someone here who was trying to mooch. They had a hidden agenda to take your money or your man or your woman, okay? They, they realized they weren't as smart as you. And so the truth's coming out about this. Oh! Mm -hmm. This, like I said, feminine or masculine, whoever fucked up could even be both. All that's coming out this week, Scorpio. Get ready. You know we got Mercury retrograde coming. We got that damn solar eclipse. Yes. Here we go, folks. What's this risk with guilt? Because this, I feel, is Mercury retrograde at its finest. Talking good shit. People like what you got going on. Talking about your achievements and accolades. So now they're laid up with someone else like, damn. Why didn't I stick around? Mm -hmm. Evidence. I'm telling you, they got evidence now, too, that you cut them the fuck out with hater. Wants to knock you down a size. A person that simply cannot be happy for your success and points out your flaws to make them feel better. Really? So this person is seeing that you're not stressed, collective, you're not feeling trapped, and they have legal issues and bad contracts for trying to sp spread fake news about you with their hidden agendas of mooching. Mm -hmm. Now they want to try to come in and make it look like they're not going to betray you and they're not toxic anymore. And they'll come in with low confidence as well and try to say, you know, they're trying to learn about spirituality and shit like that. But this person, like I said, could be going through a divorce with a distorted feminine or masculine. And they were intimidated by you in the past. So it's the only reason why they want to come full circle. It's like you really triggered the demon inside of this person. Your light triggered this demon. And it was a test that you passed is what I'm seeing here. You created distance between you and these people, even if you did indulge it for a minute. And now these people are getting what they deserve. The truth is about to be revealed on these haters. There's going to be evidence against them. And that's probably why they're having legal issues and bad contracts. Someone could also be getting out of jail with feeling trapped and stressed in legal contracts here. So I feel like if that's the case too, someone could be coming toward you to talk about this truth or possibly propose. Let's get to the tarot. This shit's crazy, Scorpio. You know what else I heard? This person didn't expect to fall for you, Scorpio. It was like their plan was to hit it and quit it with the ghosted and sex. And that's why this person feels guilty now for taking this risk because it ended up turning out to be more for them. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Let's get it, Scorpio. Let's see. What is coming towards my loves this week? What do they need to know? Spirit? Angels, ancestors. What is coming towards my Scorpios this week? Anyone sending any negative energy towards me or my Scorpios? I send it back to you times three, so mode it be. What's coming towards my Scorpios this week? In love or in general? All oh, success. Talking good shit. People like what you got going on. Talking about your achievements and accolades. But you could be emotionally distraught right now, Scorpio. But you're still successful in taking action versus being in your head or your heart. Who's coming towards Scorpio? The sun. You're also trying to find out why someone's still trying to fuck with you too. I get that. Who's coming towards Scorpio? The Ten of Wands. Okay. Strong Leo here. But this could be within the Leo months. Okay. This could be, again, that person who is breadcrumbing you. Someone who could be newly divorced or coming out of a bad breakup. King of Swords in the reverse. The Tower in the reverse. And the Six of Pentacles. It's also someone that was abusing their power that needed to be cut out of your life, Scorpio. So you could find balance again. And that's why they're leaving out of this reading. But I feel like this person's coming back. Okay. They want to talk to you about something here. They got good news. Or they feel free. 
it's a little delusional to me. It is because this person's got a lot they're dealing with, but they're coming in like they're the sun. What's crowning? Yep, the two of swords, being in two minds about something, not wanting to make a decision. Four of cups, feeling like it's weighing you down, but it's really this person here. And you're trying to figure out what you're feeling intuitively. Yeah, the hermit. Strong Virgo here. Then we're back to the breadcrumbing with the four of swords. Yeah, if someone is coming out of something, maybe with a Pisces or a Libra or a Virgo. It's like they're trying to rest and just get back on their feet in some way. But they're quiet. I feel like you're the one who's quiet. You're, you're focusing on your money. You could be dealing with a Virgo that's in denial about their feelings for you or an old third party situation. They're wondering why they can't confuse you, why you're not focusing on them, Scorpio, why you're so centered on being in the spotlight and, and finding your balance again. I think these people were draining your light, Scorpio, and that's why this person's coming back. They miss your light. They want to stand in it. They want to be in your shadow. What's the outcome? Three of Wands in the reverse just popped out right when I said in your shadow. So this person is trying to, they're at a distance from you right now. What's the outcome? Oh my gosh. The Three of Swords. They are heartbroken because you moved on, my emperors and empresses. You don't have time for the bullshit. They missed the opportunity with you. Let me see here. We got strong sexual desire and justice and passion and new creative um, outlets for you, Scorpio. Okay? Could be good sex with a Libra. Then we got these secrets with the moon and the lies. This is the truth that's being revealed to you about a sexual situation or in general. If some of you were worried that you caught something you didn't, I'm hearing that as well with the Ace of Wands upright and the moon with justice and the Ace of Swords. Someone was lying about that. And then we got, you know, you beating out the competition here when it comes to buying a home or stability or a relationship. And someone missed that opportunity with you, Capricorn. And you are this emperor or empress right now. This is all the beautiful things coming for you. But I feel like you did have a, a Capricorn, Aries Leo Sag here that was trying to affect the outcome of your stability with lies that they were telling people were secrets, but they weren't here. And people now see this person for who they are with the King of Swords in the reverse and their abuse of power and how they cling to toxic situations or things, okay, and don't make a decision. And that's why no one commits to them. Someone thought that they could manipulate a situation here with magic, but they could not, okay? Nope. And I feel like this is the backfire right here. Yeah, they didn't know that you were a born alchemist. They thought that they could destroy your love life here, Scorpio. That's what they wanted. With a third party situation, Cancer Pisces here, they wanted you to feel left out. They didn't want you to have your wish fulfillment. And now this person sees that you're getting it and they're overly stalking you. And you've released these judgments already. Knight of Wands, some of you could have met someone new at work, but it hasn't turned into the Ten of Cups yet. And you're protecting yourself from this person. Look at you upright. Because they gave you a damn headache. Now they're getting a fucking headache. <laughs> and you're standing on top of the world. I like it. All right. Let's clarify this. There's so many people looking at you. All right. You got a Virgo who who is acting like they're not, but they're in their head about you, Scorpio, and maybe this third party. You got a Cancer Pisces feminine here who's all up in your business and wants to know why you get all of the options. Then you got this energy between the both of you where you're choosing not to see what's happening. The person coming towards you loves you and is happy for you, but at the same time, they, they want to be with you and can't with the Ten of Wands, and you're very successful right now. So I, again, I just get that these are people on the outside watching you glow up because whatever they tried to do to you did not work. Okay? No, it did not. So what is the Six of Wands with the Seven of Cups for Scorpio? This deck is so hard to fucking shuffle. I'm glad the deck is strong, though. You know, it's just really hard to bend it. <laughs> All right, what's the Six of Wands with the Seven of Cups for my babies? What do they need to know this week? Okay, okay. Ace of Pentacles. You are getting a new opportunity after a healing process with the star. After something ended in Aquarius season, things just started picking up for you. I'm seeing Nine of Wands. The Knight of Wands, oh yes. And the Four of Wands is in the reverse at the bottom with the Eight of Cups, Knight of Swords. Someone really thought that they could lie or manipulate a situation here to get someone to walk away from their stability. 
Queen of Swords. Page of Pentacles, what's behind that? The Nine of Swords. So again, we've got a Capricorn or a possible Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Probably the Aquarius here. This has been coming up for you lately. I think that there might be an Aquarius that's playing both sides here. Someone's getting blackmailed by an Aquarius too. Mm -hmm. Just on a side note. But someone didn't want you to be the star. Someone didn't want you to persevere. They wanted you to be exhausted, Scorpio. They wanted you to be this nine of wands and, and still keep an eye out for them and, and let them come in and drop that last wand on your energy. But you're like, no, thanks. Nope, I'm not doing it. Someone's also upset that someone wants to fight for your connection because they have this passionate, um, they're passionately drawn towards you, but that's not what it is. This person, I feel, sees you as um, someone that can help them heal, Scorpio. They're attracted to your light, like I said. But for some of you, this is someone who, um, hmm. this is someone who I feel wanted to have multiple lovers, but after meeting you sees that, no, there is no one else that compares. And they think about this a lot at night. And then I feel like you're not even thinking about this person. You're focused on your new beginning. Mm -hmm. You're trying to figure out with the seven of cups, why this person's even coming toward you and trying to take action. They barely have a leg to stand on. It's how spirit's saying it to me. Yeah. So what's the outcome here? This person is going to try to get in your pants, Scorpio. Okay? Mm -hmm. And they are not healed. The seven of pentacles in reverse. So I'm getting to, like, if you, if you take this person up on their sexual offer, there will be a ghosting situation. And I feel like it's not going to make you happy. It's just not. If you if this old person tries to come back into your life, it's not going to make you happy. You're going to be like, damn, I'm not letting this happen to me again. Eight of Pentacles with the Six of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, someone's definitely going through some kind of divorce here. Yeah, Empress in the reverse trying to take the money. You could be hearing about someone going through a divorce and this person's going to reach out to you. Okay, or someone is definitely having an affair at work and that's why this divorce begins because someone is not happy here. There's, they feel like there's no growth with the seven of pentacles in the reverse and that's how you feel about this person. You're like, uh -uh, don't bring that shit over here. That's messy. Mm -hmm. You don't want anyone fucking with your shit. What's the outcome for Scorpio? The ten of wands in the reverse, removing burden, not being in two minds about this situation and going towards commitment in your spirituality. And maybe some of you are letting go of a um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay? These people that were in your energy, they're out, okay? Your spirit guides are here to protect you and guide you along the way. What's the sun with the Ten of Wands? What is the sun with the Ten of Wands? Temperance in the reverse. The Queen of Wands upright. Someone's like, you are just too attractive, Scorpio. I cannot handle it. Let me take you out. Let me give you this gift. But I'm still toxic. But I still want to reveal all my feelings that I want to be your husband or wife. That you're the only one that fulfills me and I'm in love with you because you're the truth. Queen of Swords. And what? They're still going to breadcrumb. That's what I feel. They don't compare to this new love coming towards you guys at all. Mm -mm. what's the outcome i'm also seeing too that there could have been a feminine fire sign in this person's energy that was dumping in toxicity okay this would be a leo in aries or a sagittarius that was in this all oh, shit an aries in the reverse just came out or a masculine that abuses his power and is out of a commitment mm -hmm. what's the outcome here Oh, so this person thinks they can come out of denial, but they're still clutching their purse. They don't want this to end. They want to apologize, but they're not financially stable on their own or single. They're still juggling, but they want to see you, Scorpio, even though they feel like it won't be victorious. You could be this King of Cups or you're dealing with a King of Cups, but this was a breakup that was needed because someone was noncommittal here. Could have been with you and a Cancer Pisces here. And then the Capricorn steps in the background. Yep, right here. This is an old third-party situation or gossip with other people. And if they were involved, they're losing money right now for lying on you, Scorpio. Their wheel is spinning and you're walking away. You're cutting these people off from your energy and your stability. Damn. Damn. 
Wow. This person's going to be fully enlightened by the full moon. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. <laughs> this is the solar eclipse. <laughs> okay. So this could be right after the solar eclipse. This person comes out with this shit. Mm -hmm. Six of wands. They want a victory with you. Overall, that's what this person wants. You are their wish fulfillment, Scorpio. Not only that, they want you in bed badly. But I don't feel they'll be there for emotional support with the Two of Wands and the Hermit. There's also a Virgo that's wondering if you still love them. But they want to screw you badly. <laughs> Virgos are good and bad, I'm not going to lie. What's the Two of Swords? The Chariot in the reverse. Death upright. The Eight of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords in the reverse. So if you knew that a Virgo or a Cancer was lying to you or that they're in denial about what they really want and that they were fucking with you with the lovers in the reverse here. You're like, you're not even listening to these people because you feel like they were, they were, um, they were lying to you about love or knowing what love was. You feel like these two energies had no clue what the fuck they were talking about. Okay. So you walked away and now things are working for you. I feel like if you were dealing with a Cancer and a Virgo, the Virgo is the better choice for you and the Cancer is not. Okay. This Cancer is not going anywhere. They need to get to work is what they need to do and let you finish your transformation because that's what's happening right now. Scorpio, you are going through a transformation and you are releasing all of these people that were in your circle trying to create negativity, gossip, and pull your life apart. Yeah, look at this. The devil, three cups. I cannot make this shit up with the nine of pentacles. They did not want to see you succeed. This is abuse of power. These are people gossiping and lying. So look at you now and look at them. Oh, bitch. Bitch, bitch. <laughs> Just kidding. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see what this Four of Cups is. What is the Four of Cups? Where Scorpio and the person coming towards them. They said this is the distorted feminine. Yep, the sun in the reverse. The hero font. I told you someone was mad that somebody else wanted you. And the secrets are coming out about that. This could be the divorced woman. Mm -hmm. And knows that someone wants to come towards you for commitment or marriage. And uh, sun and moon in the reverse. This was a false twin flame. This person really thought that your person was their twin or you were their twin. But that is not true. Okay? So this person's all butthurt about it. Like, we're soulmates. We're twins. We're this Scorpio or the person that um, you're dealing with. They're trying to convince them and it's not working. You guys were meant to be. Whoever this new person is coming into your life or whoever you're with now... It, it can't be stopped. No matter what this person tries to do, it can't be stopped. And they are a false twin. Mm -hmm. But the truth's still going to be revealed in this situation about a commitment. Mm -hmm. With a masculine. And then you got a, um, you got this uh, seven of swords with a page of wands. So there is still like this immature, flirty energy around of um, affairs and gossip. What's the hermit? The Six of Pentacles, the King of Swords in the reverse, and the Magician in the reverse, and the Five of Cups in the reverse. Strong Virgo here. Very strong. What's this? The Empress is in the reverse. Justice. So there is a feminine energy, like I said, who's very jealous of this Emperor coming towards you, or you being this Emperor. Okay? And you completing a cycle and finding love or renewing love with somebody. That's what everyone's upset about here, Scorpio. And it was because they tried to manipulate. They tried to get everyone on board with their lies and their bullshit. Okay? Like, anyone who would listen to this person, they would tell them. They were also going to a false prophetess or someone that was giving them the wrong information. And again, thinking that they could do something with this. I'm also getting a fake tarot reader. Okay? Someone that was trying to mock your energy or something or, like, siphon you. But someone is, I feel like you're, you're the one seeing this at a bird's eye view. You already know that these people are struggling to come together after all these lies that they told and the manipulation that they pulled and you're not dealing with it. You also know that if someone's leaving a connection to try to come toward you, that they're doing it for the wrong reasons and that you would never take someone back or take someone who's leaving a situation because it could happen to you. That's what I'm getting here, Scorpio. Mm-hmm. Someone really thought they could do that to you, though. 
They tried to manipulate the situation with lies because they still loved you. Ooh, what's the outcome with the uh, Three of Swords and the Wheel? What's going on here for my Scorpios? What is this about? <laughs> Someone's getting a tattoo this week. What's at the bottom? The King of Pentacles with the Three of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, there is like this, this Virgo that's really in love with you here, I think, and has a lot of passion here. Or you've just been thinking a lot about sex and passion. Then you've got an immature fire sign here that wants your emotional balance to be gone. But I think it's theirs that's gone, Scorpio, and they're looking at your money at a distance here. Maybe trying to take your King or Queen of Pentacles, okay, or your energy. Not working. Okay, it's very flirty and it's non-committal, but you do have a king of cups or you could be this king of cups, but we've got sun and Scorpio with the six of cups and the king of cups and the seven of swords in the reverse. This is I'm not having any more affairs. I'm emotionally balanced and I'm not going back to the past ever again, but there is someone that's very pained by the past and they regret how they treated you with the seven of swords in the reverse because they feel all this pain. They could be over drinking right now. Mm -hmm. Look at all this. While you're on top of the world. So people are a little jealous, Scorpio. But what can you do? What can you do? And some of you do have two love options. Again, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. But I would say that the... Uh, did I say Aquarius, Libra, Gemini? No. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. But I would say that uh, there is an immature fire sign at a distance that wants to be in your family and cannot be because they're emotionally distraught and they are only there for sex, okay? You've got a Virgo making a decision to come back in and start something new here, but there's still the Empress in the reverse with the Emperor upright. People can't do what you do. And there's also an ex-wife or ex-girlfriend or baby mama that's very jealous of this connection or someone's mama, okay? Mm-mm. Let's see what your cards are. Today, my babies, you got the shark. Swim away from this situation. Gold, you need someone, you don't need someone else to fix you. Phoenix, how's that for happily ever after? And then throne, your potential is endless. Okay, with swim away from this situation, we have don't stop. So spirit's literally telling you, like, don't go back to this situation at all, Scorpio, with no need to worry. And it says you don't need anyone else to fix you. So do you see this fire, too? It's like they're sending this passion back up to you. So I feel like that's what's been on your mind with their hermit and the ace of wands. Then with the phoenix, how's that for your happily ever after? We have let's go. And notice how the angel's arms are also embraced up into the air. Like this card. And then we have abundance with your potential is endless and thrown. You're about to uh, get blessed up this week, Scorpio. You're going to feel money coming in, the right people. You're going to be happy you let go of these situations. Mm -hmm. And what are you doing? Swimming away from this. Because you know who you are. You are king or queen. You do not need people lurking in your energy and playing off your emotions. Because that's what I'm getting with all this water energy. Yes, you are taking back control. Mm-hmm. And your potential is endless. Damn. Some of you have a lot of air and water in your chart, too, I'm picking up on. But they are telling you to swim away from this damn situation, Scorpio, and go towards your abundance. You didn't go through all that for nothing now. Mm-hmm. Some of you could have recently did uh, some moon magic or you're thinking about it or maybe you're just thinking about, like, doing money bowls or something. But this is going to help your income as well. All right. Let's see what they don't want you to know. Let's be nosy. What does this person not want my Scorpios to know? What does this person not want my Scorpios to know? We have acquiring knowledge, open-minded to the connection, researching and understanding this deep and cosmic connection, willingness to be open and understand the connection with free will independently taking action regardless of effects mm. having the capacity to make their own decisions without constraints from others so again someone is free from a situation and they're coming towards you scorpio and they're trying to acquire spirituality like you but they're still unawakened fear of losing their old life feels something is missing but is in denial physically blocking and ignoring the connection 
at the bottom we have inner child age difference and critical junctures so it says going inside to explore our authentic feelings and parts of us that may have been rejected and labeled as inappropriate or too much by others especially caregivers so you might have told this person that it was neglect and they're starting to see that then we have age difference i know there's a huge age gap between us and some may even object because of that however we are so similar in many ways regardless of our connection it could be too that if you were younger than this person they really thought that they could you know manipulate you however they please but now they're seeing that no they cannot okay yeah and that's why this person decides to be in their free will with critical junctures and that's where they'll stay taking a big leap of faith major decision affecting the outcome turning points that alter the course of evolution of the connection so because this cho person chose to be unawakened number 44 they're in critical junctures number 55 so it's just getting words for them what's the outcome oh yeah they were listening to other people Odious opinions, unrelatable and unsympathetic advice, easily influenced by others and their viewpoints, unpleasant opinions, creating doubt and denial of the connection. She's such an annoying bitch. Look at how ugly she is. Ego driven, act in one's own self interest, driven by a need to prove oneself better than others, does not truly love the person but loves more of what the person gives. So they were telling everyone like, I don't really want to be with them anyways. I know our connection isn't real. I just, I'm just trying to hit. I'm just trying to hit. Like, get the fuck out of here. No. Someone could have also been older than you, Scorpio, and thought that they could manipulate you. I'm getting that, too. They were very much in their ego with that. What's the critical junctures with unawakened, please? Wordless. Yep. Words are jumbled or words were left unsaid, unable to speak or unwillingly to say the truth. Too much in their head, unable to express. So their mouth's closed, okay? They also let this third-party karmic person tell them what to do. All right. I guess they should have been more mentally materialistic. They shouldn't have settled, Scorpio. Now they want to rebuild with you, even though this is infatuation. They're still insecure. They have a lot of in turmoils, but they want to show you that they are reinvented because you're their divine feminine or masculine, they feel. Now they want to chase you with a small offering. And again, it's sexual. And that's what they want to tell you is that they have these strong sexual desires toward you. And they're jealous of a commitment that you're about to go into. They're triggered, especially if you don't want them no more. And it's good for you because these people are tumultuous. Okay? Tumultuous. <laughs> All right. Let's see, Scorpio. What else is hitting from my babies that they need to know? What does Scorpio need to know and love this week? Set back, facing a loss, off track, delays, and doormat. Taking advantage of formidable and love bombing see what i'm saying this person was setting you back they might have thrown you off track they thought you were a doormat and now they want to come in and love bomb you and shower you for personal gain because you broke up with them splitsville and you're an influencer in the spotlight persuading others and they're following you and you're a badass who's confident and bold and this person can't believe they fucked this up especially if they gave you an sti or an std okay that's what I'm seeing, feeling let down, feeling disappointment, disapproving of the situation, rebelling, going against the odds, unprotected sex, risky situation, STD, STI, check, and then ambitious partnership making boss moves, building up a relationship. So they're like, why would I come in like this versus this when Scorpio is all of that? So they're screwed now. I already know. This person is look, blocked out, rejection, dismissal, refusal, access denied. And that's what I felt here with this energy. You're like, no, thanks. Your back is turned in the reading. Yep. You red flag this player player who's keeping tabs on you because they feel shattered. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, Scorpio. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get some love cards and then we'll go to all signs. Mm, I'm so ready for spring, y'all. Yes, I am. I've already planted my flowers. Well, I did my flower seeds. I've got them potted. I'm going to plant them soon when they're ready. But I'm so excited, you guys. I'm so ready for spring. Did you guys know it's good luck to say rabbit, rabbit, rabbit at the beginning of every month? It's good for wealth. Try it sometime. All right, what's coming towards Scorpio and love this week? Who is this asshole bitch over here with this trying to use sex to manipulate people and weird tactics? And what's the outcome in general this week? What's coming in with love for Scorpio? 
It says time flies, fleeting moments, losing track of time quicker than expected and fanned out. Available. No limits or restrictions. Willingness to be vulnerable. Someone's coming back to hit it, boy. Let me tell you. Oh, Scorpio. What is going on? Someone is like, I need that now. Ooh. Oh, okay. Then we have healing heart and believe in miracles behind that. You got that sexual healing, Scorpio. Let me stop. Okay. Oh, wow. We got taking action, forward movement, willingness to do the work, taking control of the situation. This reminds me of your death card, the white horse and the full moon. Like you are not playing with this moon, Scorpio. And then we have divine hand, divine assistance, Midas touch, attracting helpful people. Your tribe is protecting you and you are going towards some of the best things you could need right now. Mm hmm. You're releasing all those burdens and things that weren't helping you grow. The people that weren't were supposed to be a part of your tree are out. You're fired. Right. Okay. This person is time is running out, feeling the pressure, losing patience, requires immediate attention with consuming passion, lustful desires, sexual chemistry, and infatuation. Holy crap. Oh, yeah. This person is not happy, Scorpio. They're freaking the fuck out. <laughs> They're like, where are you, Scorpio? Yep. They are attached, okay? Things can get messy. And then between the two of you, oh my God, Scorpio, what is happening this week? We have negative emotions, anger and resentment, frustration, annoyance, feeling wronged. Oh, this is that um, karmic that we saw in the middle with the Four of Cups, the Cancer Pisces. Temptation, seduction, weakness, and tempting offers. Uh -huh. you might get mad that someone I'm, I'm not trying to spread negativity but it's here it's saying someone's been cheating could it be at work or just in general or they did in the past and they're holding the guilt of this and they're coming to tell you all of it okay and they feel like time's running out like if they don't do this they're screwed so I definitely feel like someone's getting their karma that's why they're speechless okay if they weren't awake these bitches are awake now okay oh Oh, don't mess with um Scorpio when they're going through a transformation with their spirit guides. And I feel that here. Like they were getting you balanced, Scorpio. And these people were trying to come in and fuck you up. They knew what was coming for you. That's probably why they kept trying to manipulate your situation for real, for real. All right, let me get a couple more because this is this is doing too much. Um, Let's go here. It's been a while, okay? Let's see how this person's really feeling. What actions are they going to take towards my Scorpio? I know I said I was going to all signs. Calm down. <laughs> you know how I get. What do they want to say to Scorpio, please? One, two, three. We ain't doing no bottom, no top on the deck. We're just going to look at these. And it says, be the wishes you ask for. We are teaching each. Oh, we are teaching each other strength. And the passion can get wild and messy. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. Scorpio's being a freak in the sheets. Let me show you these two first. Yeah. It's like you taught this person, manifest what you want. Don't come to me with no bullshit. All right. But they're saying, like, be careful what you wish for, too, because you might have asked for something. And it's about to get, whoop. It's going to get freaky up in here, Scorpio, for real. Mm-hmm. So, and both of you are teaching each other lessons. So, this will be an interesting week. Please comment down below. Let's go over to all signs. All right, Scorpio. Let's see what's going on with you and all of the Zodiac signs. What is coming towards my babies? In love this week, what do they need to know? Someone might be trying to make you jealous with flings, too. I just saw this with pushing buttons. All right, here we go. All right. Okay. So Scorpio and an Aries, we have got differences. Maybe we're just too different to make this relationship work. And it's a plan. Asking you out on a date, making plans, not leaving it to chance, create a plan. You got an Aries that's really wanting to make plans with you, but you're not dealing with them anymore. And the emperor did kept coming out in reverse, didn't it? Control issues, controlling you or the situation. Yeah. And I've had that problem with Aries as well. I've even dated one back in high school. They try to control everything, but they can't. So I could see why that didn't work for you. 
Scorpio and Leo. Oh, shit. It says, late night, thoughts of you keep me up at night. Even if I fall asleep, I dream of you. With wise owls, smart choices, lesson learned, answers are within you, an old soul. This Leo is attracted to your old soul. They wish they were as mature as you were, Scorpio. What else? Choosing to ignore cold shoulder, ignoring the problem. Well, grow up. <laughs> take care of yourself and take care of your kids. What the fuck is wrong with you? What is wrong with people? Sagittarius. Forever change. You changed my life without even trying. The old me is dead and gone. I don't believe it. Especially with a Sagittarius. Yep, what a prick. Unkind behavior, bad intentions, be careful, emotionally unavailable. Told you. What's the outcome? It says knows your worth, treating you right and values you in the reverse. So don't trust that person, okay? Scorpio and Aquarius. Gossip. I've heard rumors about you that's been difficult to ignore. And three is a crowd. Third party involved, love triangle, outside influences, deciding between two. I told you there was an Aquarius too that was kind of in this reading that's very nosy and spreading rumors and shit, I think. What's the outcome? Roman romantic gestures in the reverse. Gift, affection, a kiss, supportive. So if you're dealing with an Aquarius, this person here, they want to be a third party. They're all up in your business, but they're not going to be supportive, okay? What is um, Libra feeling for Scorpios right now? Unchanged. I am who I am, not who you want me to be. I'm not going to change with overindulgent, addiction, shadow work, codependency, unhealthy choices. Well, fuck you too, Libra. <laughs> what the fuck? And then we got children involved. Has or wants children, immaturity. Mm -mm. No, thank you. Mm -mm. I know a Libra who's got a couple kids they don't take care of. Like, uh-uh. I don't fuck with Libras like that for real. Scorpio and a Gemini or Geminis. They get on my fucking nerves. I'm <laughs> just being honest. I don't care if you're a Gemini either. My bad. Not really though. I've written you several texts, but in the end I chicken out. Good. Stay back. With what a gem. A keeper. Irreplaceable. Stand out from the rest. Marriage material. Uh-uh. Yeah, of course. Because why? You're a Scorpio and they're what? A Gemini. What else? Scared of rejection. Unsure of your feelings and holding back. Yeah. Stay back there, Gemini. Unless y'all are really into a Gemini, then... This person is just scared of rejection, but they want to talk. Scorpio and a Capricorn. Online dating. I have a few love, love interests online, nothing serious. And honeymoon stage, romantic getaway, reigniting a flame, quality time together. You got a Capricorn that's missing you and stalking you online, comparing themselves to you with uh, not on the same page, not in sync, different views, but they will never add up. They're just not good for you. Scorpio and a Taurus. Pushing buttons. I do things to trigger you. It's the only way I know you care with imprint. Leaving a mark. Forever change. Can't move on. A ripple effect. One second. Sorry, y'all. I just had to go help my son out with something real quick. So it says, leaving a mark. Forever change. Can't move on. So you got a Taurus that keeps trying to trigger you here, um, Scorpio. Yep. Because they've been printed on you. And then we got secret admirer in the reverse, secretly watching, secret feeling. So they're going to come out about this and just tell you how they feel. They might even show up. Scorpio and a Virgo. Desire to win. I'm going to win. I'll look better, do better, and get someone hotter with sucker for you. You're their weakness. Head over heels in love. Feeling like a kid again. So this person wants to have the strength to leave you if they're in a situation or they're trying to find someone better than you, but they can't with boundary check. Enforce boundaries and protect yourself. So when it comes to this Virgo, protect your energy, please, Scorpio. All right. They've got some anger issues. Scorpio and a Cancer angry <laughs> what are the odds here um i'm angry at myself and sometimes even you for how things turned out with crossroads i have a choice that has to be made crucial stage entering the unknown hard to make a decision and then unhealthy connection toxic connection codependency so there's a cancer that's very codependent on you and they know that and they're mad about it scorpio and a pisces breaking point I'm reaching my breaking point. I feel pushed to make a decision with standing tall. Pride is getting in the way. Doesn't take responsibility. Stand your ground. One-sided effort. Mm -hmm. Fate or destiny beyond your control divinely planned. So this Pisces has been um, divinely guided to apologize to you. Yep. Pride getting in the way again with devoted to you in the reverse. So I feel like it's someone who just knows they have something that they're supposed to tell you. Scorpio and a Scorpio, 
flings. I've been sleeping around sometimes one night stands and prosperity, financial blessings, creating prosperity, dreams into reality, new opportunities. So if you're dealing with a fellow Scorpio, I would say that they were not on the same page as you and you went towards prosperity. Mm -hmm. And then look at this. Yep. Work and finances, focusing on work and financial decisions. Cool. Let's see what you're all getting Scorpio for this week. It says fantasizing. I can't escape or I can't stop my mind from escaping to a world only you and I know. Decision, I've made up my mind. I'm not wasting any more time. And strategizing, I'm coming up with a plan and an offer you can't refuse. I'm haunted by my decision and the memories we made together. Holy crap, this person's head over heels for you, Scorpio, but they need to get their pride out of the way. Mm -hmm. Then we got sweet home. At home together, safe haven, a place of escape, spending time at home. They fantasize about this with you, having a home with you, false promises with decision, sending mixed signals, unreliable, unlikely to fulfill, and can't be trusted. They said swim away from the situation, swim away. Look, temptation, seduction, resisting temptation, tempting offer, risk, and reward. So they're hoping that they are going to try to use temptation to come towards you. That's going to be their strategy, Scorpio. They want to come in with temptation, but they're not going to give you a commitment. They really want to get into your energy or your finances with no crumbs, no game playing. Value yourself more, dating with dating with purpose and giving it 100%. What's behind these? Yep, player. Trying to offer you a commitment. And then what's back? And then over here we got doggy bag, unfinished business. Know you're waiting. And in the sack, making love. So this person thinks you're you're waiting on them, Scorpio. Like they got the best shit in the world, but really they want your shit. So just don't. Don't listen to this player who wants to commit to you. It's not good for you. And then we got third party involved. Friend, family, other lover interfering. Friends first, no rush, casual dating, slow growth, and call or text, expression, conversation, information. <clears throat> So they're going to tell you this is what they want without telling you. You'll already know. Your intuition will tell you, Scorpio. And then we have isolated and alone, and they will return. Not over. Temporary breakup. I feel like the joke's on them, really, in this situation, Scorpio. Because <laughs> you're already moved on. You're already getting blessed up. So these people are trying to pull you back in and take your life. Don't let them do it. Write your comments down below. Don't forget to hit subscribe. I love, love, love you guys. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.